let's talk about the Humboldt squid. This is the Humboldt squid. It's a relatively large squid species found in the Pacific Ocean around the bottom of Chile and the islands of Tierra del Fuego all the way up to California. However, due to changing climate conditions and the increase of El Nino warming events, they have started to migrate up north and have been found up as far as British Columbia and Alaska. Now, like I said before, these guys are quite large, not giant or colossal squid large, but still quite large, with a body length, not including tentacles, of up to six feet long, and including tentacles much, much larger than that. They're also quite social, usually spending the majority of their time in a large group of other Humboldt squid, sometimes over a thousand individuals in the same group. They're also highly predatory and incredibly carnivorous, eating pretty much anything they can get their beaks and tentacles on, be that small fish, crustaceans, jellyfish, or even other squid. Even, still, other Humboldt squid. They have been observed to be quite voracious cannibals, eating each other, sometimes even still alive. If there is a sick or injured squid, the others will just attack and eat it. Now, most of the time they are relatively deep sea animals, spending most of the daytime around 200 to 700 meters below the surface. However, during the night to feed, they do come up to the surface to feed. Again, most of the time in these quite large and very, very aggressive groups. They are aggressive towards each other, aggressive towards other fish, and even towards humans. There's been multiple recorded attacks of Humboldt squid on humans. That is largely during feeding time, so if somebody is in the water with all of these Humboldt squid during feeding time, they are quite likely to be attacked. Like many other cephalopod species, the Humboldt squid are capable of changing colors due to different color cells within their skin. Additionally, they are capable of creating bioluminescence, so during those large feeding frenzies, they do typically glow a bluish, greenish, yellowish color. So aggressive and cannibalistic they may be, they are still quite interesting animals and are probably my favorite squid species.